Guys, I have a great idea for a prank. Before Holt comes in, I'm gonna put ink on the podium where he puts his hands. I don't think you'll fall for that. I did. How? I haven't even opened this yet. I guess it's unrelated. Captain Holt hates pranks. This is gonna backfire, man. Ugh, fine, I'll tone it down. I'll move his podium a foot to the left. What? He'll be so angry. Okay, five inches. Five? Three? Three. One? One? All right, I'll move it a half inch. Fine, it's your funeral. Worst prank ever, so stupid Holt's not even gonna notice. Good morning. You guys, the, the podium, it's... <laughs> You're crazy! How did you pull this off? Happy Thanksgiving, sir. This year, I'm more thankful than ever to have you as my captain. And I am thankful for the low price of gasoline. And I'm thankful I for the friendship. I think there's friendship. been a misunderstanding. There's no time for everyone to have a turn. But I'm the only one that didn't Boyle. get to. Now, with the internet being down, we'll have to do all the paperwork by hand. Would you two be OK with staying late tonight? Well, I was going to slow cook a goose, but I guess I could normal cook her. Great. The bullpen is getting overcrowded, and I don't want the situation to deteriorate. I'm sorry if this ruins your holiday. Nonsense. I'm thankful that you trust us with such an important task. And I am thankful to have such a dedicated employee. And I'm thankful Just that we missed. Could... Yep. You tell him you're a cop? I tried to, but things escalated so quickly and I didn't have my badge on me. I eventually told him and he finally looked me up in the system and let me go. I can't believe this. I mean, nothing like that has ever happened to me. And I've done some pretty suspicious things in the street. Hey, hey, hey there. What are you doing? I'm just playing a prank on my buddy. Sounds fun. Carry on. It was a very good prank. I totally thought I was going to die. Good morning, boy. It's Halloween. I'm surprised you didn't put on a costume. I was going to, sir, but then I decided, screw that jazz. Well, I'm the only one who ever dresses up. No one ever gets my costume, and they make fun of me. So I'm done. These people don't deserve my dress-up gifts. Charles, seriously, no costume? What the hell, Charles? Where's your Halloween spirit? But you guys always make fun of me. I have never once insulted you in my life, especially vis-a-vis -vis your appearance. Yeah, man, we always love your costumes. Remember last year when you came as that person and or thing? Yes, I do remember. Sir, permission to sprint to my car and get my emergency costume. Does it matter if I say no? No! Ba bam bam boom what the? What? Why are you dressed up? You look like an idiot. But, uh, but, uh... Yeah, what are you supposed to be? A sassy car mechanic? No, come on. He's clearly the rejected Pop-Tarts mascot, Harry Pop-Tart. I am not! You know who I am! Squad, that's enough. You're making Boyle feel bad on purpose. He's Elvis. Yes! Elvis Stoiko, the Canadian figure skater. No! What's up, G-Hive? It's Queen G. I'm bored at work, so I'm gonna prank all my coworkers. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea for an already crappy day. Fine, Sarge, I won't do it. <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah, <laughs> 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 drink! How good is your memory from before the accident? Do you remember the fireworks? Yeah, I remember everything. I remember the whole heist, going to find Charles, the magnet suits. Do you remember where you hit the tube? Yeah, inside the fake baby. Thanks, babe. <gasps> oh, no. It's not the future, is it? Nope. It's only been about 40 minutes. And this isn't a real hospital. You mission impossible me. Oh, I'm so happy you're not having sex with Teddy. <laughs> I don't have the names of the injured officers, but if Diaz is unharmed, she should be contacting us shortly. Or if her phone is dead, perhaps she'll be walking off the elevator at any moment. Come on, you don't even do stuff like that, man. I was just making a copy downstairs. Yeah, well, next time, think. But what? I don't know. Okay, Jake. Come on, man. Go easy on him. Diaz. Rosa. You're okay. Where'd you come from? I felt like walking, so I took the stairs. Also, I thought it'd be funny to mess with you guys. Rosa, you know I hate pranks. You love pranks. I do. I really do. You did it so good. Have a nice weekend, Peralta? Yeah, nothing special. You know, I got a couple. You missed Scully's birthday. It was kind of a big one. Nobody showed at the party. Guys, guys, guys. We missed Scully's birthday, and it was a big one. I know. I panicked and said I had to go to the vet because my puppy cat got sick. I said I had to take my mom to get birth control pills. That's better than my excuse. I said I had to go to my girl's bat mitzvahs. Squad, we missed Scully's birthday, and it was a big one. I told them I was in Ecuador. 
I think they bought it. We gotta make it up to them. Let's give them cash. Everyone put in $20 each. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll cover you. Hey, Scully. Huh? We're sorry that we missed your party. Oh, don't worry about it. You, you all had stuff to do. Yes, the capital of Ecuador is Quito. Oh. Anyway, happy birthday from all of us. Thanks, guys. You're, you're the best. Have a happy birthday, birthday Scully. Thanks. I can't believe it. The fake birthday worked. You're a genius. We're both geniuses. <laughs> Thumbtack, look. That was my thumbtack, look. Okay, he lives on the 16th floor. I think we beat hold here. Or did you? I'll get the elevator. Crap, looks like we're taking the stairs. All right, it's 16 floors. Pace yourselves. Forget it, run as fast as you can. Ha-ha! <sighs> <sighs> I win, I knocked first. You're not Al. You're looking for Al. Of course we're looking for Al, you imbecile. Sorry. He's having a cigarette on the roof. The roof? <sighs> yes, I did it. I am the greatest athlete in the world. No. Oh. Oh. Where's Al? Oh, there he is. There he is. I did it. I did it. Oh. Good God. Are you Al, the janitor? Nope. I'm your worst nightmare. Amy Santiago. Oh, no. Then I sent you all here, placed an out of order sign on the perfectly functional elevator, made you all walk up 31 flights of stairs and vomit twice. Actually, it was four times if you count all the stairwell stuff. Here's our plan. After watching everyone coo over your maudlin proposal, I've decided we should employ a similar diversion. Smart, I'm in. You will tell Jake you are pregnant with his child. What? I'm not pregnant. Here's a positive pregnancy test and a sonogram of your fetus. Congratulations, it's a girl. It feels a little mean to play with Jake's feelings like that, sir. You're right, it is mean. Too bad. As your mentor, I command you to do it. Wow, okay. Perhaps we should discuss some other options. There's no time, look. Peralta's going for the bracelet. Okay, this is officially getting too hard to track. Who has the bracelet now? Santiago. Yeah, and none of you are getting it. We'll see about that. Uh, what the hell? Remember that very fancy Swiss pen I got you for Christmas? The one that you keep in your pocket at all times? It's a taser, bro. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. No. Amy, do not make me taste you again. No, 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 don't. I'm pregnant. What? I just found out it's a girl. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's happening. Quick, someone get a reaction video of me becoming an uncle. Ah, she's making it up. The pregnancy scan was my idea. No, 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 Amy. Wait, is that true? Did you just lie to me about our baby? Yeah, did you lie to us about our baby? You taste me. You taste me first. Oh. Enough. <laughs> Take that, Vulture. Let's melt this thing. All right, give me your hair dryer. What, what are you talking about? Don't you carry one in your purse? Have you ever met a human woman? Uh, there's a drugstore four blocks away. I'm on it. Oh, no. Scully traveling four blocks? That could take weeks. Whew. Papa, Papa, come in here. Hey, Papa's here. Papa, I'm so scared. There's a monster in my closet. Oh, buddy, shh. It's OK. I'm here. Monsters aren't real, my little pierogi. But I saw it. It was big and hairy. Oh, you just had a nightmare, buddy. No, it was real. I'm sure it felt that way. But I am going to open this closet and I'm gonna show you that there's nothing in there. Don't do that, Papa. See, nothing. Ah! Ah! <sighs> <sighs> oh, hey, Chuck, it's Pimento. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. You can start the meeting now. The meeting is over, you're late. You missed roll call and the tutorial on using the new copier. Six years, and no matter how hard I try, I still can't get you to understand the importance of being punctual. Maybe you should just give up and accept me for who I am? No, I will break you right now. Ow. While you were out being tardy, I was hard at work devising a special punishment. I've crafted an intricate, personal high five with everyone in this office except you. What? But you hate high fives. Yes, every minute of it was hell, but it'll be worse for you. Squad, dismissed. <laughs> Goodbye, Diaz. Salute into a fanny waggle. Goodbye, Boyle. Oh, the snake charmer. Goodbye, Jeffords. That's the butt bump. Goodbye, Santiago. Double fist bump, reverse explosion into a Pete Townsend strum. 
All right, that was terrible, but it's over now, and I made it through. Goodbye, Leonard from Xerox. What? No, no, no. The copy guy? Oh, hello. You guys, 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 check it out. Hitchcock fell asleep in the break room, so I put his hand in a bowl of warm water. Come on, man, that's the stupidest prank ever. Uh, no, it's the smartest because it involves biology. I bet it worked already. Let's go check. Hitchcock, no! He's drowning, he's drowning! Fable, man! <sighs> I'll take it back, Jake. Great prank. It's happening again. Rosa, Rosa! Hitchcock fell asleep in the break room. I pranked him. I tied his shoelaces together. You're 38 years old, dude. I know, and yet my pranks still stay so fresh. It's incredible. You gotta untie his shoes before he gets hurt. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. Ugh, fine. But what's the worst thing that could happen? <gasps> He's being strangled oh, to death! Oh, oh, Ow! Hey, Charles, can we talk in the briefing room for a sec? There's a question I gotta ask you. Hmm? It's happening. Jake is gonna pop the question. He's gonna ask me to be his BM. No. Uh -oh. BM, best man, it's a common abbreviation. No one but you has ever used it. I am so relieved. I thought maybe he was gonna ask one of Amy's brothers or ugh, Sarge. Hey, man, come on. Charles! Okay, so I know this is a lot to ask. No, it's not. I want to do it. You want to cover my shift this weekend so I can go to the White Plains Mall and meet Daryl Strawberry at the opening of a cell phone store? Yes. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd ask. Great. Thanks. You sure it's okay? Mm-hmm. 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 I'm very happy about it. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Uh, look at my smile. <laughs> I have to go now. Jake! What do you say, bud? Will you be my BM? Yes! Yes, a million times yes! In your face, Terry! What? I'm holding a sparkler for you. I helped organize a lot of this. We well, could stick that sparkler up your butt. I'm the best man! Whoa, what's with the cast? I sprained my wrist. Oh, no, what happened? Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Yeah, geez, Amy. Back off. Leave the guy alone. All right, huddle up. Everybody, bring it in, bring it in. So he wouldn't say what happened, which can only mean one thing. He's in a fight club. No, he did it doing something he's embarrassed by, like smiling. Only question is, how do you hurt your arm smiling? Could be a sports injury. I sprained my wrist in college playing field hockey. Men's field hockey? Yeah, it's much more violent than the women's game. We're not allowed to wear anything that protects our breasts. Attention, everyone. I can hear you speculating about the nature and origin of my injury from my office. I tripped over an uneven sidewalk. I did not think it was relevant to your jobs, the jobs which you should all be doing right now. Get to work. Do you want to know how I actually hurt my wrist? Yes. I was hula hooping. Kevin and I attend a class for fitness and for fun. Oh my God. I've mastered all the moves. The pizza toss, the tornado, the scorpion, the oopsie doodle. Why are you telling me this? Because no one will ever believe you. No, no. You sick son of a bitch.